Police in London say the number of hate crimes against people of East Asian descent has tripled since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. But it's thought many incidents across the UK go unreported. Our special correspondent, Fergal Keane, has been meeting some of the victims. One old white lady, she using her finger points on me and screams on me saying, you Chinese, uh, you are the Chinese virus, just go back your country. When the train was approaching Camden Road Station, the tall, young, white man who was sat next to me started making a noise, trying to get a flap up from his throat. And when the train stopped at the station, he spat at me. I was on my way home and this kid shouted coronavirus at me. There was no one else in the street and it was directed at me and this happened at the start of the pandemic. Anti-Asian racism didn't begin with the pandemic, but victims say it's escalated dramatically. This has exploded uh, since the beginning of the virus. This really affects the, the, uh, both the emotional and mental health and uh, uh, the, whole, the whole atmosphere in the community. Dr Pong Wang was jogging near his home in Southampton when racist comments were shouted from a car. They, they punched me on, on my face. My nose uh, was badly hit. You know, the, the physical injury can be, can be healed very easily, but it's, it's most important is the inner side, right? How do you restore your face in a human? Don't go outside. There's something happening worldwide. Mom, cover up not just your nose, your mouth, but your eyes, your hair, your voice. You. The fear around coronavirus has helped inflame xenophobic attitudes around the world. Conspiracy theories have spread online. This virus does not discriminate. People do. And victims told us the rhetoric of some leaders caused enduring harm. The Chinese virus, Kung Flu. The nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. The issues in America uh, transfer themselves over to the UK quite regularly, and obviously that's in the media regularly as well. So um, it gives a voice to people, and somebody as powerful as Trump, uh, with his views, um, emboldened the racists. It's an atmosphere in which older prejudices have revived. Dan Su's supermarket symbolizes a Korean family that's fully integrated into British society. But recently his wife and baby daughter were racially abused in an affluent West London suburb. I remember very clearly feeling how sad I was. Um, it was my first reaction because this is the country that I was born in um, and I grew up in and I love everything about this country. Communities long established in Britain, part of the country's cultural fabric, are being targeted. The sense of belonging, reflected in London's Chinese New Year celebrations, is challenged by racism. Now an opposition MP of Chinese descent wants tougher policing of hate crime. We've got to get really tough with the social media sites that allow and spread hatred online and as well as that dehumanizing kind of rhetoric and racism there is on the other hand as well this racism that is a conspiracy theory that we're trying to take over the world in these and many other lives the politics of the pandemic and superpower rivalries have unleashed fear but also a determination to confront prejudice my virus I'm not a virus. Why did he spit at me and discriminate against me? Just because I look Asian, it doesn't mean I'm a virus. Fergal Keane, BBC News.